there's a term that has become very popular to speak about. The term is cultural appropriation. Or as one person said it, my culture is not your costume. Now, I don't care much for the political aspects of these conversations that exist in the world. Nonetheless, cultural appropriation is a thing and it exists. And we live in a world in which it is increasingly becoming more offensive to appropriate someone's culture. Cultural appropriation is disrespectful, not in all ways, but in certain ways, and I'll tell you an example that has offended me recently. All of you know that we are a kihina that is very welcoming of Girin. Not welcoming, we're not welcoming of Girin. We are very welcoming of Girin. We believe in the interpretation of the Rambam to actively encourage others to join the Jewish people. And there are many, many Jewish people that weren't always Jewish, and they're not appropriating my culture. They are part of my culture. They are Jewish people like all other Jewish people, and they are part of Am Yisrael. But there are groups of non-Jews who have no intention of joining Am Yisrael, but they have every single intention of appropriating Am Yisrael's culture. They somehow, whether it's an offshoot of some messianic Jewish group or whatever else it might be, these are people who, unfortunately, due to the art scroll revolution or the translation of books into other languages, not only are they just thumping the... New Testament and Old Testament at us with English translation. Today, they've already gone beyond that. They teach Mishnah, Talmud, Midrashim, that crazy over Midrashim. For all that I hate Midrashim, they love it even more. Twisting every Midrash and every Gemara and every Agada, everything. Ramchal, Misilat, Visharim, books of the Zohar, their entire yeshivot of people. Yani, they call themselves yeshivot, appropriating our culture. Somebody comes and says, Hi, Rabbi, I'm not Jewish. Where can I buy a talit? Oh. Are you converted to Judaism? No. I belong to this and this group and we are Jewish people who live here and we learn that and do... My culture is not your custom. Don't go... Just because you bought a talit and you have a big shofar in your living room and you know how to get a chumash, an English translation, doesn't make you Jewish. I'm sorry to be the person who has to say that. And this does not come from a place if I don't want people... I want people to be Jewish. You can become Jewish. So what are you doing exactly by not becoming Jewish? What are you doing? What are you saying really? You're too good for Am Yisrael? You know better than Am Yisrael what the Torah says? Please tell me more how you understand Jewish tradition better than we do. And if someone doesn't speak about it, if someone doesn't say, Khalas, it's enough. Enough is enough. Then who's going to take care of this problem? And this is a real, real issue. The minim of yesterday, the early Christians were actually Jewish people. They were Jewish people with very terrifying Jewish beliefs. And our rabbis had to debate them in order to shut those ideas down. But I don't owe a debate to somebody who's not even part of my people and wants to debate with me what my books actually say or don't say. It's a frightening thing. We live in a really interesting world. But you would think that at this point in our history, with all the evolution, yani, all the progression that we have, so at least stop a Appropriating my culture also. My culture is Judaism. I don't want to see people mocking it. I don't want to see big crosses and talitot and microphones and hallelujahs jumping on the stage. I don't want to see it. What's going on over here? And just like all other communities can protest that they don't appreciate when their culture is appropriated, I can appreciate the same thing. But I'll tell you even one more. I especially don't appreciate it when people whose grandparents and great-grandparents and great-great-grandparents hunted Jewish people in the streets to kill them. And now they're busy appropriating my culture. That's already, that's already over the top. It's time for people to say the truth.